The 2018 Kia Stinger is a provocatively named, turbocharged fastback sedan that arrives in America in a few months, and we've just been given a great snapshot of what to expect at Germany's notorious Nürburgring circuit. While the very final tuning is underway, the late-stage prototypes we drove are 99% there, says Albert Biermann, former BMW M chief engineer, now head of engineering for the Hyundai Group. Despite our first experience with the Stinger being at a famously technical track, Biermann and others stressed that the Stinger is very much a grand tour. To be clear, just about no one will track the Stinger. So why then do we find ourselves in the Eiffel region of Western Germany? Because Korea's new sports sedan signals a dramatic brand shift for Kia, and the Stinger GT is the first to reflect a new, more performance-oriented direction. Kia at the Nürburgring? If you want to make a point, this is one way to do it. Arriving this fall, the Stinger will have three powertrain options on offer globally, but only two gas-fueled turbocharged engines for North America. The entry-level Stinger 2.0T is rated at 255 horsepower and 260 pounds to foot, but our impressions are based on the GT, motivated by Kia's Braunier 3.3-liter twin-turbo, good for 365 horsepower and 376 pounds to foot peak power arrives at 6,000 revolutions per minute and peak torque between 1,300 and 4,500 revolutions per minute. All engines, including the nut for America 2.2-liter diesel, are mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission with shift paddles. Both rear-wheel drive and AWD configurations will be available. While the automaker has made some sporty-looking, attractive sedans such as the Optima Turbo and Cadenza, it wants to make them drive like they look says Beerman. Throw the ring's 73 corners, 17% incline, and 11% decline, all at speed, and you'll learn quite a bit about Kia's newest, very quickly. So how does the Stinger drive? If this was an exercise to understand the touring aspects of the car, it was lost on us. Lap 1 of our lead follow drive on the ring wasted no time in demonstrating this new, more dynamic direction. The pace car in front smashed the throttle and entered the ring at speed, banking hard left on the first turn. I followed suit, mashing the gas, flying into the first turn, tires screeching, the rear sliding out just a bit despite the GT's AWD. Immediately I'm surprised by the acceleration. Despite the presence of twin compressors, the Stinger is quite long, and at more than 3,800 pounds, I didn't expect it to be this quick off the line. Then again, the manufacturer quotes a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 4.9 seconds, which makes it the quickest Kia ever. Still, after many years of driving Kia's, I somehow didn't believe the GT could accelerate like it does. Turn after turn, I'm almost giddy because the steering is so responsive, and the handling is surprisingly good. One thing I notice is conflicting impressions of the boost, at times it seemingly comes on immediately and others there's noticeable lag. Because everything is happening so fast out on the notoriously tricky ring, I'm not really able to suss out why. We'll need more time in the car to figure that out. Getting up to speed is easy, but braking is at least as important. At one point I see 154 miles per hour on the longest straight, so it's reassuring that the Brembo's scrub speed in such a linear way. There's a bit of travel on the pedal but we're told that the pads and discs have not been changed all day, despite logging hours of duress on the Nürburgring. On the inside you can see clear cues from the German counterparts in the segment, with Burmeister look-alike speakers surrounded by a faux metallic finish, there's also an available 720-watt, 15-speaker Harman Kardon surround sound system, three cylindrical air vents on the center stack, and the 8.0-inch infotainment screen tacked above the dash. But overall the cabin is comfortable, roomy, and attractive. There's plenty of head and legroom in the rear, and despite a high beltline, visibility is good. While Kia says it's aiming for the Germans, 
like the Audi A4, BMW 4 Series, or Mercedes-Benz C-Class, you'd also have to consider the Infiniti Q50 and Lexus is to be competitors. What buyers actually will cross shop with remains to be seen, but with the Stinger, Kia is making a deliberate shift into a more premium space. The 2018 Kia Stinger GT will arrive in America in October, and there's much we still want to assess between now and then. But what's clear is the Stinger will be the most appealing Kia we've seen yet. With striking design, a level of dynamic handling and capability never before experienced from Korea, and more allure than anything wearing a Kia badge, we are looking forward to getting more time with the Stinger. Babylon's came